come on, I'm pushing. Now, at this point here now, someone's popped their ghost power. I've got no idea. Now, in a second, watch just below me. You'll see when the ghost runs out and he pops up. My arrow booster's finished. See, just behind me. <laughs> He's sprinting. I'm like, oh, I've got to get him. I'm sprinting. I'm giving it, giving it. Oh, I'm chasing, chasing, chasing. Come on, come on, come on. Want to get it, want to get it. Want to get it. Oh, and I'll pip him. We're just under one minute left until the race starts. This is Downtown Dolphin, run by ZHQ or ZHQ Future Works. It's a Crit City race. It's just a short one. Um, I've just finished the training program. I'm trying to find out what racing is all about, really. So uh, nothing too long. Should be around about 15 to 18 minutes long. The clock's ticking down. I'm going to ramp up my watts so I can get off to a decent start just before we get going. Quick drink of water, get hydrated. I'm expecting it to be really fast. Here we go. The, the watts are over 300. Don't want to get left at the back. So I'm going here and I'm looking, I'm thinking, okay, I was kind of expecting everyone to be going a lot harder than this. I did try a C race uh, a couple of days before and we was well over 500 and it just didn't give up. I was dropped immediately. So I'm trying not to push out too far. The advice I've been given is to stick with the group and benefit from the draft. So, and at the same time, I'm trying not to show my hand too much. We pretty much settled in here. It's flat, pushing out just over 200 watts, which is roughly 2.4 watts per kilogram. I'm sticking with this front group, trying to make sure that no one really shoots off too far into the front. We've gone 300 meters so far. We're still under a minute. My heart rate has right, risen up to about 165. I'm doing about 80 RPMs. This is comfortable. To be fair, I'm thinking this is easier than I expected it to be. Not that I'm saying the effort is easy. Just expect it to be pushed a lot harder. So we come up to this straight now. And I can see that there's uh, about three riders in front of me. And they're starting to gap just a little bit. So I decide to push on the watts a little bit here. Because I don't want to give them the opportunity to break away from me. My heart rate is now creeping up to 168. It will be up to 170 at this rate. Coming around this corner, I'm thinking, yep, don't want to let them go. And I know that on this cardboard section here, it's an opportunity for people to break away. So I push up to make sure that I can stick with the group. And here we am. Now, I've kind of overshotted a little bit here. So I lay off just a bit. Let the rest of the group catch up. Coming around the corner, is this a power-up? No, I did think that was a power-up, but there's just one power-up per lap. So we are almost two minutes in. We've just gone over one kilometer. And I'm sticking with the group. I'm settled. I'm settled in. My heart rate is about 165 now. I'm in seventh place. I'm coming down this straight. And I know from having ridden this route um, just earlier, actually, or maybe the day before, there's a bit of a section here now across like a muddy section called the rollers. And... This is where people can really leave you. And I've I've had some tips from other people in stream that this is a good place to make sure that you continue to push down the slopes. And I believe you get an advantage being a heavier rider. So I can see the group in front are starting to gap. So I'll kick a little bit harder, push a few more watts, trying to catch them up. I'm kind of pulling this group along with me here, but that's that's fine, that's fine. I know we're coming up to the end of this first lap. My heart rate is uh, crept above 170 now. So I'm working, but I feel pretty comfortable. And this is the home straight. So we're heading down. I'm sticking with this group. I can see I'm in ninth place. And that little group in front is starting to break. I'm going to get a power up. Not sure what it is. I think it's a burrito, I think, actually. Yeah, burrito. <laughs> so anyway, that group ahead is starting to gap. So I want to push up to them, but I'm thinking I'm not going to take you guys with me benefiting from my draft. So I pop the burrito there to make sure that no one is going to benefit from my draft as I push up to catch the group that's starting to gap us just a little bit. 
but if I glance across over to the right, I can see they're only three seconds in front. We're on the second lap out of six. I'm not particularly worried now. I know that they're not going to get too far ahead of me. This guy here, D. White, keep an eye out for him. You might see his name come up towards the end. So I'll push up a few more watts here. I know that there's a climb coming up and I don't want to give him a chance to get too far ahead of me before we get to the climb. So I'm pushing up. There's a little bit of recovery here. So I'm trying to take stock and just remember where there's sections where after I've pushed or just before I push, I've got an opportunity to recover. My plan here is to stick with the group as much as I can. So we're going to turn this corner here. And I believe as we turn right, we've got the cobbled section. So I'm going to start to, well, I'd like to think that I start to ramp up the watts, but I'm still learning the route. But I can see that everyone's kind of pushing here it's not too bad one guy pops his power up i was about just over 200 watts so i'm taking stock as i go around each lap and on this lap i'm thinking i probably need to start kicking up those watts just before that turn starts and again here a bit of a mistake here my heart rate's in the 170s but i should have really kept pushing after that last uh, incline section because again the group are starting to pull ahead of me so essentially what i'm doing here is i'm expending more watts than i need to because i'm i'm chasing that might be a good strategy because i'm never really showing myself too much to the front pack and that probably pays to the advantage uh, towards the end of the race when we come to the final sprint so we come around to this section again here now here with the rollers i've got a couple of people with me i'm going to make sure that i continue to push but i don't want to overshoot it too much when i'm falling back so i push up the watts i'm in the 400s heart rate's up there i push a bit but not too much you see i'm on the pedals off the pedals on the pedals off the pedals one thing i've been trying to get used to since riding zwift for the last six months is trying to fall back into the draft and not overshoot it something i still need to master so we'll come around the corner i'm with the rest of the group here coming up to the line this is the sprint i know that when i come out of those rollers on the up on the um sixth lap i'm gonna need to push on those rollers and make sure that i've either got a chance for a bit of recovery in that corner section before the straight or i've just got to be able to have enough in the tank so i can give it all here i picked up a power up and it's the um steamroller now i did read the zwift insider that gave me some tips on how to race the downtown dolphin and there's only one place on this section where the steamroller has any effect uh i'm quoting indirectly from the video but it's at the cobbled climb so that's fine i know exactly where i'm gonna pop this this is another section where people tend to take it easy here so there's a chance for some recovery uh, on the earlier race I did in this section, um, because I felt I had the energy, I did actually decide to test some of the people there by just pushing on a little bit harder to see who came with me. Some of I picked up from watching Jonathan Crane's videos. You don't want to give people a chance to recover, so they've got it all to use on you in the final sprint. <laughs> I'm falling back a bit here, but that's fine. I know that I'm going to pop my power up any moment now as you come around this section. So I'm probably going to jump on the pedals and hope to get a work on that extra wattage before we before we actually start the climb. So here we go, I'll pop the power up. Something for future references, I probably wanna pop it just before we get to the corner. So it's already executed before the climb starts. And as you can see, I'm still up on the pedals. I remember on this lap to continue to keep pu pushing until I get over the crest of the hill. So here we am. So the front two haven't really gapped me, although, I should have really carried on until I got to the arch. So I'm hoping I remember that strategy for the next lap. If not, I'll definitely remember it for the next race, which is actually in a few hours as I'm doing this audio. About nine hours. So here's some recovery section. I'm sticking with this group here. Heart rate, still in the 170s. You can see I've got some red there, but it's not all red. Um, but I, I do feel really comfortable. It does feel like I've got energy to go. I'm sitting with this group. 
Here's the roller section. Here I'm really trying not to overshoot. You can see my watts are less than the last round. But I'm still on the pedals, off the pedals a little bit, just to make sure that I'm uh, not overshooting. Now here I'm thinking, I kind of feel like I've got the strength advantage on that section there and the climb section because I seem to be pushing and I'm always overshooting. So either the group are holding back or they're not able to uh, push um, to the same level I am on those sections. So here's the home straight again. I'm thinking, yeah, that's definitely the sprint to the line. Wonder what power I'm gonna get this time. The draft, right, so this is the fourth lap. Legs are feeling good. I'm getting some lovely encouragement from the Twitch crew as I stream this race. There's Tim giving me lots of encouragement. I'm not sure when I actually pop this power up, but I'm kind of feeling good. But I know that if I want to save my legs, I can always pop that draft. I just need to make sure that when I do pop it, I am with a group. So I'm benefiting from the draft. This guy's popped his arrow. Not sure why. Maybe he's just trying to burn it before. But this is like a nice home straight. He's probably just getting some extra recovery. In advance of the bit of effort he knows is coming. This is uh, P. Dells. He ends up um, in the um, final sprint. So again, keep, a, keep an eye out for him as we draw to the final lap. Coming up in two more laps. So I thought, yeah, let's just drop the draft here. I'm falling behind a bit. I'll use it while I'm chasing to try and catch up the group and hopefully slot onto the back and still get the benefit of the draft. But didn't quite get it, but I know that this one lasts a lot longer than the previous power-up, so I'm hoping to still benefit from it as I come up this climb. So maybe that was a decent place to deploy it. I don't know, I'll probably play about with that power up on some future races just to see where the optimal place to pop the power up is. So I've stayed on the pedals there, rolled up to the arch, and I've managed to stay with the group. Every lap that I go around, I'm just trying to remember what worked well, what worked bad, and stick with the group. S. Bradley is in front. I've kind of shot in front a bit here, but that's fine. I don't mind. Giving a bit of the draft for the time being. Everyone else has slotted in behind me. It, this does feel really good. It does really feel like I'm riding with a group of people that are, you know, we're, we're kind of all evenly paced. Now, someone's disappeared there. That's interesting because it's something I didn't spot on the final lap. But it's interesting to see. He obviously had the ghost power up and he's popped it just before there. So maybe he's shot in front. Right now I'm in fifth. Fifth place, see if he pops up anywhere in front. Hmm. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> positive optimism for my friends on the stream. <laughs> I mean, what they're reading is that, yeah, what I've just said, everyone seems to be pretty evenly paced here. So as long as I stick with what I'm doing, I'm comfortable. My heart rate is still cresting at 70. So as long as I've got a decent sprint and a time of sprint right, I should be in with a decent podium. Got the aero power up again. Just checking the lap. It's the fifth lap. There's one lap left. Now, in my last race, I got second in Zwift and then Zwift power, where the results count, apparently. Um, the, the guy who beat me in the race, but I think he got a DQ or, or something, um, had a power up. So I'm thinking... I don't want to be stuck. Well, I don't want to get beat by someone in the final, you know, 300, 400 meters. If I've out sprinted them, but they had the benefit of the power up. So I'm thinking I'm going to save this power up. I'm not going to gamble on hoping that I'll get the same power up or better power up on the next round. So I'm saving this power up. And my plan is I'm going to use this somewhere around those rollers section. Um, so I can either get over that section and hopefully that might also carry me through to the line. I don't know. That's my plan anyway. I feel pretty fresh in the legs. 
um, you can see where the red spikes are in the graph I'm just gonna make sure that I stick with the group now and I don't fall back so I'm not wasting any watts and hope that by saving this power up I can still get some recovery so I was up a bit late there on the cobbles but I do remember to keep pushing up to the top but as you can see kind of had to lay back a bit because I'm ahead of everyone and I don't want to shoot too far in front just yet I want to stay with the group so we're coming up, up to the final um, corner before we get to the rollers section and I've shot ahead a bit here that's fine I'm also getting a little bit of recovery it looks like everyone's getting recovery my watch dropped right down to 75 there Come around the corner, look across to the right, who's in front of me, Darrell, Bradley's behind me, Raven, Bright. Yeah, we've pretty much all been together the entire race. So I can see there's two in front, we've got a little group here, I'm thinking, mm, again, I don't want to let you get too far in front. So it's time to kick up a few watts here. Here we go. Gotta catch you up, don't wanna be chasing you on the final lap. At this point, I'm kind of regretting just a little bit <laughs> that I didn't use my power up. My heart rate's gone to 174, 175. I'm with the group. I've overshot it just a little bit, but that's fine, that's fine. They will slot in. Come around the corner. Kind of hurting a little bit here. You can see I'm, I'm wiping the sweat away from my face. I do sweat. <laughs> quite profusely like when I'm even just walking down the road to be fair so I've got my power up this is the final lap it's all to give here now this is where I'm looking there's two kilometers last lap make sure Kenny that you do not lose this group and stick with them but don't show too much too early at the back of the group I'm still in the draft kind of sitting in the middle T Bradley's in front. I'd love to, but I hope I get to ride against him in the race again tomorrow or some other races. We, we've had a really, a really good race. I've really enjoyed it. <laughs> so I'm sticking with the draft. Coming around to the corner. Now it's time to get up. No, I've read that one wrong. Okay, yeah, it's the next corner. We've got the cobbled section. People are recovering. I'm wishing still a little bit that I had some extra recovery and hoping that I've just got enough for the final sprint. We're coming up to the last kilometer. My heart rate is it's not gonna drop below 170 now. It's, it's up there and uh, it will be rising. So the cover section's coming here now. This is where I would normally have popped the power up, but no, I'm up. I'm making sure that I time this one so I don't go too far in front. I'm gonna make sure that I come out at the top with the group. So I have laid off a little bit early there, push on again, only because I didn't wanna overshoot it. Here's the fake arch where there's no power up. We're in the group. We are down within the last kilometer. <laughs> this is do or die. I have to make sure I time this just right. I've got my power up. Now, interestingly, keep watching the other players. It's interesting you can watch back in hindsight and you can see. Now, someone uses the ghost power up coming up. And I didn't even realize I had no idea. Let's see if it works. We come to the sections. Here's the rollers. That's it. I've got to stick with this group, make sure I don't go. I pop the arrow halfway through. Come on, I'm pushing. Now at this point here now, someone's popped their ghost power. I've got no idea. Now in a second, watch just below me, you'll see when the ghost runs out and he pops up. My arrow boost is finished. See, just behind me. <laughs> He's sprinting, I'm like, oh, I've got to get him. I'm sprinting, I'm giving it, giving it. Oh, I'm chasing, chasing, chasing. Come on, come on, come on. Will I get it, will I get it, will I get it? Oh, and I'll pip him. Literally, what's that? 10 meters, 15 meters from the line. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. And you, you can see I am 
spent i think my heart rate maxed out at about 176 one no 186 maximum heart rate is 189 so <laughs> i really worked it and yeah they worked me there what's that 161 average no that's uh oh, my camera's in the way anyway that was the result and um if it wasn't for the fact that i went early on those rollers d right would have had me there the time that goes perfectly anyway thank you for watching and that's just my breakdown inspired of course by jonathan crane make sure you do give him a check out and you can find me on twitch usually streaming monday to friday from 5 p.m gmt thank you